Hey, what's up everybody? This is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this video, I'm gonna show you literally everything I can about the mobile menu in the Wix mobile editor. So I've got a little sample record label website. Now we're gonna be looking at the mobile menu. So we need to go to the mobile editor. Up here in the toolbar, we have desktop and mobile. We just need to click on that phone icon. It's gonna take us to the mobile version of our site. Now, if you don't see a mobile menu, See this little mobile menu right here? If you're not seeing that, it's probably because you don't have your header or footer enabled on your desktop side. You need one of those enabled in some way in order for the mobile menu to be shown here in the mobile friendly view. Now let's start with the navigation and managing what's in our menu. So right now if we go to preview and we click on our mobile menu, it's gonna pop open a little hierarchy of our page, right? It's our navigation. Now underneath artists, if we go back to the editor and go over to menus and pages, we see that there are some sub-level navigation sites and pages inside of artists, but we're not seeing that in our mobile side. That's because they're all hidden right now. If you did wanna show that, you can click on the ellipses and click show on mobile. Then if we go to preview and back to our mobile menu, notice how artists now has a little sub-level dropdown underneath it. So that's how you can add that sub menu navigation into your mobile menu if you want that. Now if we go back to menus and pages, if we don't want that, we can go back and hide any of that on mobile to sort of clean up our menu design. So here's where you manage what shows up on your mobile menu. But over here, when we click on the mobile menu, we can do a little bit of design work and customizing it. First off, just by clicking on the menu in editor, we can move it around our page, but you can't move it past a Y position of 200 because it might not be visible on all devices. And we can use the corners of our menu to resize how this element fits on our page. Now the minimum here is 40 by 40, but you can make this fit and work with your design in any way you need to. Now we also have a settings icon before we get into our other design icons. And this settings icon essentially lets you freeze and unfreeze the menu. So freezing the menu means it's gonna lock into a position on your page. So now that I have that check marked, if I go back to preview and scroll down, notice how that menu follows us, right? It always stays there, it's always accessible. Now if I have that unfrozen, so clicking on the mobile menu again, going back to settings and unfreezing it, it's gonna work like any other element on our page. When we preview it, it's gonna scroll with the page. Now quick note there, you do need to click the preview in order to see it stick on your page, like pinned to your page. Um, so any of these, sometimes you just gotta hit preview to go preview whatever the menu is doing, depending on the settings that you're ticking on and off. Okay, so next up we have design. Now this comes with a lot of preset designs and this affects both the open and closed version of your menu. So right now we have this first one selected. We can select any of these other styles if we want. We're gonna stay on the first one and we're gonna click customize design. Now what that did was that simply switched us over to this next tab. You can get there quickly by clicking on this little water droplet icon. But within customize design, after we have selected a preset, we can customize how that preset works with our site. For instance, we can customize whether it fills from the center out, comes from the left, or comes from the right on our mobile site. We can also select the fill color and opacity of our icon. Notice how our icon for the X to go back outside of the menu changes. We can select if there's a background. We can select the opacity of our menu background as well as the color if we want to show a little bit of the background or select just a solid color fill. Now we also have border options with both width and opacity and color and we can adjust our text options. So for instance the color of our text as it sits on our page maybe we want it to be a lighter gray tone and then we can select the selected page color as well. So maybe we wanna go for more of a green color there. And then there are also themes, whether or not it's a bolder heading style or more of that smaller paragraph element. We can select the font, adjust the font size easily, whether it's bold or italic, and then how the text is aligned. Is it aligned left, to the right, or to the center? There's also the spacers in between 
our links and those spacers can be adjusted from a width standpoint. We can adjust the length of them as well as the color and the size. So there's lots of different options here for the open version of the menu. Also the closed version of the menu has its own adjustments. So we can add a background to our button. We can adjust the color of the icon. We can also adjust the border, whether there is one opacity and color of it or the width of it as well. We can adjust the corners. So maybe we wanted just one corner to be rounded a lot more than the other corners. This link button here is gonna link all these corners together so you notice how that change affected every single one. We can unlink it just like that and then adjust each of these corners independently if we wanted maybe just a single corner to be rounded off, whatever fits your website. There's also the spacing element so we can adjust the spacing of our little hamburger menu, the width of the line as well as the length of the line. Now each of these preset designs comes with its own look. So if we select one of the different looks and go to customize that design, notice how the open version has a much different look than the other version that we selected. And from here, we can just use it as a starting point and adjust it to fit our website however we want. And of course, we can always hide the mobile menu if you really wanted to do that with the little eyeball icon. Once we do that, it is hidden and it shows us in our hidden elements that our mobile menu is hidden. To show it again, we can click show element and it's gonna pop back up and we can organize it in the way that we want for our website and make sure it fits our design. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. I know that's a lot, but that's everything about the mobile menu in Wix. If you have any questions, post them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.